There's no doubt that the Syrian Air Force has used and is continuing to use cluster bombs on a daily basis. The Syrian government has denied use in recent days. But this denial is meaningless. Uh, when we see that there's overwhelming and compelling evidence of ongoing use, when cluster bombs continue to rain down on Syrian towns and villages on a daily basis, we have eyewitness testimony. We have testimony from several victims. We've managed now to talk to some of those who've been injured by Syrian cluster bombs. We've identified through the videos and the testimony at least 46 cluster bombs have been used. Those 46 cluster bombs contain some 6,000 individual bomblets that now have rained down upon the Syrian population. We've identified well over a hundred of the explosive duds, the, the, the remnants of the submunitions that still are alive, that still pose grave dangers to the civilian population. And very regrettably, we've seen on many of the videos people picking up and playing with these unexploded bomblets. You may be able to pick it up once, but when you hand it to your neighbor, when you put it back down, it may explode. These are live and highly volatile, and no one should ever touch them. It's clear that these have all been dropped from aircraft, primarily helicopters. The opposition forces have no aircraft. They have no helicopters. They don't have the delivery means uh, to use these types of cluster munitions. So it's Syrian air forces that are doing the damage here. And what we've seen is that all of these um, are Soviet-produced weapons. They have markings that indicate that they were all produced in the 1970s or the early 1980s. Well, the Russian foreign minister has said that these are not Russian produced. I guess technically that's correct, but clearly they were produced in the Soviet Union and transferred to Syria at some point in time. This is a weapon that has been shown over and over again to cause unacceptable harm to civilian populations immediately when attacked and for long afterwards. So any use of this weapon should be considered beyond the pale. Any use of this weapon should be considered like you would think of a use of chemical weapons or biological weapons. It just shouldn't be done at any point in time. It's a banned weapon.